In this video I want to find out exactly what's inside one of these Winchester Super X one ounce rifled slugs. So I'm going to try and cut it open and take the slug out, weigh the slug and weigh the powder charge. Just so we can see what one of these typical one ounce rifled slugs are composed of. Alright, let's try and cut this thing open. Alright, so we got our shell cut open now. So let's just go ahead and pull it apart and see what's inside. So there's our one ounce rifled slug. It's pretty hollow in there. I'm sure most of you already knew that though. There's the nice little rifling grooves on the side of the slug. So that's the actual one ounce rifled slug. And then right underneath that we have a really thick piece of cardboard. And I believe this is referred to as nitro card. I think this one is actually really thick though. So I'm just going to actually go ahead and measure it real fast. That way any of you shotgun reloaders out there can see just how thick it is. So it's measuring at .197 of an inch or 5.01 millimeters. So that's nitro card is about 5 millimeters thick and that sits right underneath the one ounce slug. And right underneath the cardboard it looks like we have a wadding. I think this is actually referred to as a gas seal since it doesn't actually have the things on the side to hold shot in. It's just used to seal in the gas for the slug I guess. I'm not exactly positive on that either. And that's it. Underneath that we have our powder charge. So we had our rifled slug, our piece of cardboard, and then our gas seal. In its exact order here. Now let's weigh the slug and see exactly how heavy it is. Okay, just the slug by itself. And that's coming in at exactly 436 grains. I think one ounce is 437 grains. So we're actually just one grain short of a one ounce slug. But let's see how much the gas seal and cardboard and everything weigh also. So just the cardboard, 14.1 grains. And the gas seal alone is 38.8 grains. And all together, gas seal, cardboard, and slug, 489.1 grains. So all of this is actually being shot out of the gun, 489.1 grains. Now let's see how much powder we have in here. I couldn't get it all out. There's a couple flakes in there still that just don't want to come out. They're stuck in there really good. But what did come out weighed in at 37.1 grains. And what's left in there is probably just a couple tenths of a grain. So it might be 37.2 or 3 with the rest of that. So we might as well just say it's about 37 grains of powder. And this powder actually looks really familiar to me. I have a powder that's long shot right here. And if I'm correct, I'm thinking that that's what this powder in the shell is here. So now I'm just going to pour the powder charge back into the shell. So there's our 37-ish grains of what I believe is long shot. And now I'm going to pour some of my actual long shot here into the tray just so we can see how similar this powder looks. And here's the powder that came out of my long shot container. And the powder we put back in the shell. So that actually looks pretty much identical to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that's the charge in these Winchester one out slug shells. 37 grains of long shot. And how much does the entire shell components all together weigh? 
though the entire shell is 578.7 grains. So now we've got just a couple more things to do. Let's measure exactly how wide our slug is. Right here on the rifling groove it's coming in at 0.725 except right here we're getting a measurement of 0.727. So it just depends on where I put the calipers because there's all these ridges and stuff obviously. But I'd say it's safe to assume it's 0.725 roughly. Now how long is it? It's coming at 0.685 and a half. So it's actually wider than it is long. That's kind of funny. And our hollow point is... So inside our hollow point it's 0.127 and a half. That's the width of our hollow point. But anyways, that's all I can think of to go over. So that's all that our Winchester 1 ounce rifled slugs consist of. A 436 grain lead rifled slug our 5 millimeter thick piece of cardboard and then our gas seal underneath that and that is all being propelled by what I assume is 37 grains of long shot but anyways that's all thanks for watching